Hello, my name is Michael Jonick. I'm a senior lecturer in American literature at the University of Sussex in the United Kingdom, and I'm very privileged to be a resident this year at the Institute of Advanced Studies here in Paris. Whilst here, I'm working on a book project I'm calling Anarchists, Scientists, Lovers, and Conmen, Risk and the 19th Century Novel. Now, in our time of financial crisis and economic depredation, riot and revolution, environmental catastrophe, and global pandemic, scholars in the humanities have turned to many sources to reevaluate uh, what risk means, what risk means in our daily lives, what risk means in forms of art and other media. Uh, but my point in the project is to trace a kind of genealogy of risk. That is to say that our contemporary risk society has a long and deeply complex history. And to do so, I'm not going to maybe the usual places that many people would go to understand risk, that is to mathematics or to probability uh, and to sort of quantitative approaches to risk. Rather, I'm interested in, in quite a different archive, and that's the archive of the 19th century novel. So to understand risk, I'm going to works like Mary Shelley's great 1826 novel, The Last Man, which is a kind of gothic extravaganza about uh, uh, sort of plague-ridden humanity and is in fact set in the year 2100. We might say that Mary Shelley has written the first 21st century novel and precisely to do so to think about the kind of immunological risks that people face. I'm also looking at other novels like Henry James's The Princess Cassimassima, which is about the history of anarchism in the late 19th century and how the state in many forms is trying to understand a kind of anarchist threat. What's really important to me in the project, however, is to understand what it means to act, what it means to live a life in the face of risk. And many of these texts, I think, deal with the, the question of what it means to act. Not only what is to be done, the sort of big question of politics that haunts the 19th century and even up into the 21st century with the Russian Revolution, but what does it mean to risk one's life for a cause, for an idea, to become possessed, as Dostoevsky says in his great novel, The Demons, in 1872, to be possessed by an idea. And so that's really what I'm thinking about in this project, is not only what it means to act individually to risk one's life, but also the ways in which risk uh, points to what could be called collective agencies, agencies that are not just human, but also deal with viruses and the non-human and all possible threats that we might face. I think this is really relevant because we still live in a world marked by terrorist violence and the, the sort of acts that we are, are faced with and that we are anticipating, uh, perhaps with some fear. And so to, to go back to the 19th century novel for me is really to begin to understand not only a collective past, right, a past that we share in many ways, but to begin to understand a collective future and how we might live forward into uh, a new era.